We are now going to uh, program the boot menu in all the cartridges. And the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my UMSX to do that because I don't want to uh, take any risks with my old hardware. So uh, if I just blow this thing, I, uh, I can just fix it because it's only based on modern uh, electronics. Uh, that is that, that will not happen. But if happens, I don't want to have my old MSX uh, devices uh, uh, under risk, right? So, I mean, uh, I I just got the micro SD card that I I was using in my MSX. So what I, we need to do is that we need to create a folder and copy all the the tools, uh, the carnivore tools that we need to program the cartridges. Right, so I have this adapter and I'm going to plug on my PC um, and then copy all the data that I need, right? So, and uh, I already copied that. So let me switch over to my PC so you guys can see uh, what I have um, here. So uh, you guys are seeing my PC now. I did it. So here's the, the on drive E, I have my micro SD card. So I'm going to uh, use the software folder and I already have the RBSC folder over here with all the tools. And those tools are available on the uh, on the folder for the carnivore. So if, uh, if you just uh, clone the REPL from GitHub, so you're gonna get this uh, set of folders over here and inside the util, so you have all the compiled uh, tools that you need, right? So you need to copy all those tools because we are gonna need uh, some of them, right? Uh, and uh, on the firmware folder, oh no, on the boot menu folder, we do have a few files we need as well, right? So let me confirm which ones we need. So let's go to the doc folder and then get the, uh, the user guide. Um, uh, and then if you scroll down over here, it's gonna show us exactly what we need to do to set up. So we did um, the, okay, so how to upload the firmware, we did that already, we tested the cartridges, um, uh, and then uh, here are the BIOS, the BIOS ROMs, right? So, uh, okay, so you need the bid, cmfc.bin, uh, boot cmfc.bin, fmp. Okay, so those need to be on the same folder of the, the utils, right? So so let's find where are those files on the structure that we have over here. So let's go back and to the, uh, what is it? The BSS, right? Yeah, they are over here, right? So we got the bid cmfc, this one and the uh, fmpack as well this one so let's copy those two so the only one that we are missing now is the boot cmfc right so yeah okay so let's copy this and paste inside of the software rbsc so i already copied the tools over here and then let's go back uh, into the boot menu over here and here i have the other uh, file i need so I'm gonna copy as well on this folder. So now I have a folder on my micro SD card uh, called, uh, it is on their software, RBSC, and I have all the tools and the three bin files I need to configure uh, carnivores, right? So let's switch over uh, to uh, my over camera over here. So I'm going to uh, eject the card. Okay, so let's eject it. Uh, I'll get it over here. Let's remove from the, the adapter. And then I will insert the file over here, or the, the micro SD card over here. That is great. So now I have, no, now my UMSX is gonna boot with the uh, micro SD card and it's gonna load MSX DOS. Uh, and then we'll be able to program our counterpart. So let's uh, start programming. So I'll get the first one I have and then insert on the slot that I have over here. And you already know, so when we boot, we need to see like three megabytes. 
yeah that is the case over here so this one is fine uh, and, and now it's gonna boot with the micro SD uh, content right so we see MSX DOS that's perfect I'm going to enter in the software RBSC folder and we should have all the files we need yeah and the first thing that we need over here is that I can go straight to the C2 man and configure the card the, the cartridge but I'll do something first just to show you so uh, a tool I, uh, I use to make sure that my cartridge is working is C2 finder right so the C2 finder if you run it it runs code to detect the cartridge right so if I just press 1 you see that I have a carnivore 2 detected on slot 1 right so and this means that this cartridge is okay at least to program right so and then uh, we can uh, just go back to the main menu and leave and now we can just run c2 man right and let's see what happens so uh, I mean the cartridge is not initialized so we need to specify so it's slot one so I'll use one zero because it's the first slot address and you see that I have a flash round chip detected so this is a M29 W640GB right and it was not initialized so that is exactly what we need to do so I'm going to press yes um, and it's gonna copy information from run to run right and that is okay so and I need to go to number nine which is open cartridges service me right so let's go there uh, and now we need to uh, follow a few steps to configure the, the cartridge, right? So uh, the first one that we need is uh, let's go to number seven and fully erase uh, the, the flash run chip. So it's supposed to be empty, right? But let's make sure, right? So let's go seven, yes, yes. And let's wait a little bit. It's gonna erase the the, the flash uh, chip, right? The M29. So let's just wait a little bit. And then we, uh, as soon as we get the prompt back, we're gonna uh, run number three and then number four and then number five and then number six and their cartridge is going to be ready to go right so are those you know the number three is going to initialize all directory entries on the the flash memory and then we are going to write the boot menu the uh, the dials for the ed id and then the fm background as well so it finished so that's great and now let's go number three yes Okay, and now number four. Yes, it's right in the boot menu. Okay, and now number five. Number five, yes. And the last one is number six. Okay, number six. Yes. Okay, so we are good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is, actually let me switch over to this screen so I think it's better for you. So I'm going to uh, just reboot and let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, let's go zero and then uh, restart the computer, four. It's restarting, three megabytes, that's great. And it should enter the carnivore menu. Ah, you see that? Boot menu 252 and 250 as a firmware. So it's working okay. So I don't know if you guys can hear the music. So let's see if I can, oh no, it's not cause you know, I need to connect the, uh, the, the sound, uh, the, the sound connector to the capture card but it's working so I need to repeat that for all my boards so I just want to uh, document the steps so you guys can uh, better understand that's it that is how to configure the carnivore chip